Hey guys, Dirk here. Just wanted to give you a quick, uh, I guess, channel update's the easiest way to put it. Uh, I do have some, a lot of things going on. I've had some big changes and some pretty cool new stuff that hopefully will end up making some neat content. Um, short part of it is, I guess, I have a post on my blog called YouTube Scholar and uh, it just talks about how I've kind of been known as somebody who can always figure stuff out and I've always kind of been a quick learner if I have something to read or I could look it up and YouTube has just made that much easier so for the last few years whether I'm in tech uh, that's what I do for work um, or t anything I want to do whether it's fix a car or I mean really anything I just first place I go is search YouTube and I have been, my work's been a little interesting lately. It's been really frustrating. And it's just taken everything out of me. And I got to the point that I just didn't want to do anything else. I didn't have time, didn't have the energy, couldn't do anything that I enjoyed. And I really enjoy making things. I have some projects around the house that aren't finished because of that same thing. I just had no energy and was just burnt out. So I was watching some YouTube stuff and I found something that I was never interested in before and all of a sudden it became extremely interesting. So I'll get into that real quick and then I will show you uh, what that is and then I've got a couple shout outs that go along with another post that's on my blog. So what I've done a lot of that my father-in-law taught me is leather work. I actually I have an Etsy store and um, I've sold stuff and made custom things, but I do leather tooling. So this is part of a bag, so it would be this way up. Um, and then this would be the back of it. Uh, I do have some Irish background, so I do like the Celtic knot work. So I've done a lot of stuff with that. I still enjoy doing leather work, and I'm going to incorporate that into something, uh, the new projects that I'm working on as well. But that's just something that I do. That's part of a bag I haven't finished yet. So... Today I got a couple boxes in the mail. I was going to show everyone my other things out in the shop because part of that blog post was my shop getting cleaned up, which I'll put some pictures of that, I don't know, right here, maybe, and show you what I was working with. I worked into, moved into this place about a year and a half ago. Um, and we just kind of had to move everything in, throw it in, and get back to work. And my shop's been a disaster. So there's a few products I got that go along with my new project. So this is the Uvex Bionic Shield. Uh, I've never had to have a face mask before. But this one got some pretty good reviews. So I figured I would give it a try. Hopefully this blue stuff is a some type of protector it is so i have to peel that off um so yeah what would i need a protector for well we'll get to the fun stuff that's just kind of you know eventually it'll be like that i suppose what would we need a screen protector or face protector for well this is the box that i've been waiting for so we will go ahead and open this up. Hey, that was convenient. Maybe it'll actually be right side up. I have no idea. It looks like it was. So these are woodworking tools for turning and this is going to be really bad because I can't even remember yet what these uh, different ones are called I know a couple of them um, I would assume this is a round nose scraper uh, this is a 5 8 these are all Benjamin's bests uh, I believe they're PSI tools um, I just ordered them on Amazon uh, this, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. 
This is a 3 16 parting tool. This, I believe, is a 5 8 skew. I do know some of the terms, not all of them yet. This one I'm not sure of. Uh, <laughs> I will be definitely, now that I have these, looking them up. I know what part they are. Um, kind of curious about these, actually. So this was a complete set. They're about $70. Uh, I've heard good reviews on them. They're, they're nothing uh, special, but they uh, are basically to, to get you started. And so I believe this is a one inch skew. It says one inch on it. Uh, the box it came in, the little guard, the guide for the collars is broken. So they're not setting where they should be. Which they're not going to be in that box for long anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now these ones I do know. So this is a spindle gouge. This is a half inch spindle gouge. And this is a three quarter inch bowl gouge. Now these all, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to look. If these are supposed to be some of these are not perfectly straight in the tool I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way or if these are these are obviously a budget set um, and then this is a half inch roughing gouge I believe 7 8 roughing gouge so these are all for wood turning like I mentioned which is what my new exciting and project is essentially um, so after I use these I'll probably do a video on how well I like them and if I would prefer that I got these like I did as a set or if I would have bought them individually one thing I will say uh, if you buy some kind of mid-grade uh, medium so like a quality turning uh, chisel um, pretty much any of them you end up around a uh, hundred dollars a piece so there's a couple makers out there in England and I, I believe a couple US makers that pretty much any of these tools especially the gouges they're around a hundred dollars a piece and this set was less than a hundred dollars so obviously I don't expect these to be mm, super high quality um, just because you do get what you pay for especially when it comes to tools so I'm assuming that those nicer hand you know hand done tools will probably have a nicer point to them but you can get a lot done with a decent set and i've heard the steel on these is pretty good um, so i'm hoping that they'll work pretty well to get started so that is what i have for chisels and we'll be able to get started on that i do have a couple other projects coming up that i'm going to do videos on in the shop i made a laminated two by four top for my workbench that's going to be where my drill press and my grinder go i was actually going to be working on that tonight but all of a sudden the rain kicked up and it is terrible wind out there and i need to use the planer which is another tool i just got used and uh, i have there's no way i'm going to do it i use it out in the yard and the wind is just blowing and it's going to rain i'm sure so then I thought, well, maybe I'll look in the shop, but I don't have any lighting set up in the shop yet. I've got a lot of the stuff done to uh, get the tools and make it where it's usable, but I do not have any lighting in there yet, so you'd be looking at a dark hole. So that'll be upcoming in videos as well. Um, another thing I may show if there's some interest, uh, I'm sitting on my hearth. I will definitely show it when it's done if anybody wants to see it as it goes let me know in the comments I'm just doing kind of a random tile pattern on it uh, the cool center point of it will be my wife's grandpa actually hand built a stove years ago and I'm putting his wood stove about where I'm sitting so I'll be using the stuff that I don't turn in the wood stove for the winter so that'll be done in the next couple of weeks uh, the other reason we got a planer is this is actually a pallet board just a plain old pallet we've got a place we can get some 
really decent pallets and this has just been run through the planer and it is uh, used we're gonna put that on the ceiling so door I'll be right back all right I'm back it's been actually a couple hours the people at the door some good friends of mine had to show what I was working on so anyway um, like I said a couple projects I'll have going in the uh, near future around that don't have to do with woodworking but um, woodworking is kind of what got me motivated to get started again so I know this is going longer than I planned but real quickly <clears throat> We go through a couple I put a post on my blog called the shop shall rise and amazing woodworking channels on YouTube um, the first one <clears throat> I have on there is Zach Higgins over at Envy Woodworks um, I actually started thinking about doing some stuff with woodworking because of his videos and mainly uh, turning acrylic blanks and making acrylic blanks and I thought you know I'm gonna make some acrylic blanks and use that to save up to get a lathe uh, things change quite a bit because of a few things that happen between now and then but um, anyway uh, he's the one that really got me interested in that I actually started looking at acrylic because of uh, another one uh, shop time uh, I'll put links to all these in the video and a link to my blog but if you want to look at Zach Higgins or Envy Woodworks, W-E-R-K-S. Um, shop time, Peter Brown, I call him an epoxy mad scientist. He, he made a table, like a cake stand, out of Oreos and epoxy. Uh, he'll try anything. Uh, he talks about thinking outside the box. There's a link to a part of his video where he says, At this point, I'm not even sure where the box is anymore. And he just comes up with some great ideas. And he's kind of inspired me to think of some other stuff. And because of him, I've I've already got some things waiting to cast. I've ordered some resin. I'm just waiting for the resin to show up. So between him and Zach, I've got some ideas for some pretty cool pin blanks. Um, as for turners, uh, Brendan Stemp from <clears throat> from Australia is just has some great videos. There's a lot of guys that are really good. Uh, Mike Walt from England um, and a couple others. I don't know if I should say England, the UK. Um, and quite a few others too, but Brendan's channel, U Turn. Uh, he makes pepper grinders, which is something I'm really interested in. He makes some other stuff too. And he's just uh, really informative. He actually has a really good video series on how to choose a lathe, which I used. Um, just one of those guys that just shares a lot of knowledge on YouTube. Um, General Woodworking, the channels make something. I think he used to go by the Drunken Woodworker. Um, he has some great wood projects and he likes craft beer so what more is there to not like. But uh, he, he does a lot of really simple projects to more complicated projects but a lot of things that are very interesting that anyone can really try. Um, Jay Bates, he describes himself as an amateur woodworker, but I'd say he's at least accomplished amateur. Uh, the biggest thing from his channel that I've seen is he kind of started making furniture with very limited tools, and he's just kind of taken the money he's made from that craft and built up his shop to where he's got a pretty impressive shop now. But again, he, he does a lot of instructional how-tos that are very helpful. Um, Nick Ferry has the coolest workbench ever. He does a lot of stage props and work like that and his channel is great to check out. Uh, Dima's Woodshop, he does some wood turning projects, some resin casting projects and just comes up with some creative ideas. He's great to watch. Uh, RJB Wood Turner is actually a local guy here in, or no, I'm not, RJB is not the local guy. He makes some great pens um, he tries quite a few different, uh, he's made segmented pens with like pieces of credit cards and offcuts and things like that. Comes up with some cool ideas. Um, Braxton Worthland makes some custom tap handles and growler racks. Uh, Turning Round is the guy that lives in Utah. I've already actually talked to him 
or messaged him and hopefully I'll meet up with him and check some stuff out and there's a big list here um, I like to make stuff as another channel not just woodwork um, he's building a small shop he's got kind of all different kinds of electronics to metal to woodworking and how to kind of put them all together and do different projects all the way from basic up to skilled so he's got some pretty cool stuff there um, Dominic Bender is another kind of mad scientist type he's got a small shop I believe he's in Germany or somewhere close to there uh, super impressive because he makes almost all his videos in English and German so talk about commitment you go to his channel and there's like a duplicate of videos because he's done it in both languages so again he he does some pretty cool projects and and shares them with everyone um, Schimmel Woodworks Chad actually I wasn't interested in making pens until I saw Chad's channel I was interested in other types of woodwork um, like I said pepper grinders bowls and things like that I kind of got curious about those and I didn't even really want to look at pens until I saw Chad's channel and Chad does some really cool stuff and he goes everywhere from Alumalite to uh, PR resins or I guess PR resins redundant uh, polyester resins things like that as well as wood pens um, Roger Webb is another Australian wood turner and he's kind of a, another inventor type. He's made some 3D um, CNC lathes and he'll grab all kinds of different weird woods and just turn them and see what he gets. He has all kinds of stuff blow up on his lathes because he'll try to turn about anything just to see what happens. I, I really am enjoying, I found a few turners here in the US. I, I'm really enjoying the Australian wood turners and the, um, the UK wood turners. And Canadian now. Ron Calverly, um, he does some really cool experiments. He's doing some casting and resin. He's done some like wasted wood projects. Uh, anytime he gets a new style of pen, he makes a new set of videos. He does a very good job. He's got a great camera setup. I'm not sure how he's got it. Um, you can see above his lathe. You can see beside his lathe as he turns the pens. He just does an amazing job. Um, it's pretty cool too because uh, my grandma has some dementia and Alzheimer's. His wife has Alzheimer's. So he actually has a huge screen in his shop so he can make sure his wife's okay while he's down in the shop. So he's always looking at that big screen, um, keeping track of her, yet he still has time to share with everyone on YouTube. So that's really nice to see. Um, Sam Angelo, the Wyoming wood turner. He is another great channel. He's got some walkthroughs. Guinness wants to come see what I'm doing. He's got some other great walkthroughs. Um, he also does some videos about lathes. Um, also some start to finish kind of setups for starter projects. And uh, drying, um, microwave drying, things like that. Sam is another one. He obviously spends a lot of time. He's got some great camera setups to share that knowledge on how to work just from wherever you're at. Um, from the tree. George Watkins, he makes uh, resin and burl blanks is what he mainly does. Uh, he's out of the UK as well. Um, his from the tree, the, he almost gets this glass-like translucent quality out of his uh, resin, which is pretty neat to see. Uh, the Naked Turner is Eric Anderson. Um, he's got quite a few different woodworking projects and does turning as well and he's pretty interesting to watch he's another one of those that'll grab some odd stuff and just turn it to see what happens um worth the effort is one that i just found the host pretty entertaining he's got a great video on wood turning demystified which just kind of shows how to take some skills from other trades and put them into woodworking and wood turning and has a really good video uh, called wood turning demystified all the other guys I mentioned have great videos on different projects. He kind of just starts his one project and goes through uh, start to finish how he does it with his the specific tools. Um, David Groth, he uh, is listed on here last because he doesn't really have any wood. He doesn't do wood turning, which is what I'm interested in. He does wood carving, but he makes some amazing tables. Uh, he's out in California somewhere. 
and he's got a nine video series that's definitely worth watching it talks about his um getting myrtle myrtle wood or bass i think it's it's a type of myrtle wood off of the beaches and then he makes these awesome tables um he kiln dries these huge pieces of wood and makes these amazing tables he hand hand carves all the finish on them so definitely worth checking out um anyway we'll let it go from there and we'll see you guys next time can i help you yeah you think i need to pet you i'm sitting down at your level so you think you need kisses is that what it is I got to do another video and you're going to be in my way the whole time. Yeah. Move it. Move it. You drooled on me. <laughs>